uncovering the mysteries of the deep, but with some help from artificial intelligence. The left side profile of a turtle is put into a database. In the same way that a human would uh, walk through a passport office or an immigration office and have their face scanned and recognised by the machine, we can use the same technology on wildlife. A new project called Ocean ID is being led by conservation group Green Heroes, who are based on the Queensland New South Wales border. A turtle's facial scales are unique, like a human fingerprint and the new technology allows the animals to be followed without interrupting their natural activities. Other methods to track the creatures can be time consuming and disruptive. One was flipper tagging, which is quite invasive, and the other way was putting satellite tags on them, which is very expensive. The critically endangered Hawkesville turtle is found here in the waters off Cook Island, and anyone who can keep a camera dry can help spot them and learn about their journey along the eastern seaboard. There's follow and unfollow buttons, so you can actually follow a turtle that you've uh, entered into the system. A free app is in the works to attract more users. We have a lot of people from Cairns down in Tasmania, and they're all contributing. This will allow a much, much bigger sample size, or give a, a much bigger picture of what's going on. Jessica Lamb, ABC News, Gold Coast.